congratulations, Dr. Ogon. You will live to enjoy more retirement. Please, let's keep the notes coming. We will save all of these for her. Uh, Dr. Oye Gureje is saying, Yemi here, wishing you a blissful time in retirement. We we'll celebrate you too, sir. We we'll celebrate you. Thank you so much for joining us. Ola Bode Diamond, that is our regulars on our, our Yaba platform, our voice platform. Congratulations on your retirement. It comes as a surprise because you are still very young. I tell you, she's still very young. If you compete, you will not even know that she's older than me. I pray that God will grant you perfect health to enjoy your retirement. There is so much work for you to do out there. And yes, that's the message we're going to be leaving her with today. That even if she's leaving yeah, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to do out there. Um, yet today, Oder Jai, yeah, me, my darling sister, you are blessed. You are really, you are really a fantastic mentor, super brilliant, beauty with brain, so proud of you, so godly, sincere, and loving. God bless you and hold yours mightily in Jesus' name. Your retirement is blessed forever. Oh, 77 Collective. Me too, I'm 77 Collective from today. Just adopt me. Adopt me into your member, um, the group, whatever it is, just adopt me. I'll pay the annual fee. All right, Dakwade Baju, a patriotic Nigerian, passionate, energetic, and inspiring medical director. Continue to be yourself. All right, so a whole lot. You are a great mom to Bumida Biri. May God reward you abundantly for your love. Dr. Kajero, your message is acknowledged. Thank you so much for that. Allow NSC Ajayi, congratulations, the first medical director from Iloko. That's also another wonderful feat. Yes, the first medical director. You are making us proud, Ma. You are lifting this standard. I hope we will be able to meet up. Hey, God, help us. I wish you success in your future um, endeavor. Yes, Techno Camel X, yes. Your life is a testimony of grace to life. Enjoy your retirement. Laolu Tolu Lokwe, thank you so much. Um, quite a lot of people here. Dr. Koka, congratulations to my professional colleague and sister, Dr. OCO. I wish you the very best in retirement. Definitely, you are not tired. Fumi Akiola, congratulations, Ma. Praying for a happy, healthy, and rewarding retirement for you. Enjoy this new phase of your life. Akibongwe, congratulations, Ma. Wishing you happy retirement. Emmanuel, team boss. From the School of Occupational Therapy, we are grateful for your impact. Thank you so much. That's the vice principal of um, the Federal School of Occupational Therapy, um, Yaba, Vegas. All right, so um, we will still take more of these as we move on, but let's also hear from this um, wonderful woman that we are celebrating today. I I'm very sure that um, with this height of success that we're celebrating today, it has not just come easy. I am very sure of that. I, I know there would have been some challenges here and there, things that you would have all those that you would have had to, to cross, whether you are tall enough to cross them or not, but then the all those are there for you to navigate and find your way through. How have you been able to diligently, adequately, resiliently deal with all of this, ma'am? Thank you again, Mr. Luwakemi Akito Yeshe. Um, there were all those. I'll tell you about some all those. Um, but coming into Yaba, at that time, I've already had my last child. When on call, that's Jimmy, the Pejela. Uh, sometimes I will bring him as well as uh, a house set to come and sleep in the call room. Um, but that's uh, a part of a uh, womanhood. Challenges of reading, for example, like Enola mentioned, of feeling inadequate. When you leave your children at home, okay, you are a pleasant teacher, and then you want to know what is going on at the home front. Those were challenges in those days. And part of that made me to advise my children at the time knowing how full the life of a female doctor or a career woman could be. I think I once said, I once prayed that, well, I think my children will be better off, especially the boys, marrying teachers. Because I felt a bit inadequate. I felt I didn't do as much as I would have wanted to do for my children because I had to divide my time between my work 
and um, my own front. But I thank God for the ministry angels that God sent before me. Now, talking about challenges of being a medical director, I can assure you it has not been easy. One thing is a man's word. It still remains a man's word, whatever anybody says. When you're a woman and you are climbing the ladder, most people, even your own gender, will not want to support you. And that goes on even in our politics in Nigeria. Let a woman come out and say she wants to become the president of this country. Bet you, it's even the women that will not support that, that woman, Most, even if men support. So we have all those challenges. Now, the challenges of being a medical director in the hospital were enormous. This is a psychiatric hospital. It's a federally funded hospital. We are 100% funded. But the, for a hospital that is 112 years old, you can imagine the dilapidated infrastructure and everything. The funds are just not there to go around. And bet you, anybody who comes here, who comes after me, will still have lots and lots and lots of things to do. Now, I wanted to put certain things in place. And the challenge is, of course, you need money to do all this. Those factors were there. But I thank God for what I've been able to do. The other aspects, and I wouldn't know whether they are listening, is the hospital itself. The challenges of people writing to security agencies, high CPC today, EFCC tomorrow, and that could be very, 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 very distracting. You continue to go around and around and you still want to perform. So the challenges have been enormous, but I thank God for what we have been able to do. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, Ma. Um, I, I know that she had just told us in brief what those challenges are. Uh, it's really not so easy being in that lofty position. <laughs> you know, I have two children. To satisfy those two, it's not easy. Not to talk of you know, managing adults. You know, it's, it's, it's a huge, huge task. Um, thank you so much for, um, for being there and for being able to pull it through and then to be able to do so well. Onyema Abasa says, congratulations to a selfless woman. Our altruism is incomparable, our honesty refreshing. I couldn't have been a psychiatrist without her help. She set me on this career. Thank you, Ma. We say thank you, Ma, to you. Um, some people don't have a name, but um, Adeyemi Apalodia is saying congratulations to the medical director. We say congratulations. Ishmael Yakin, a huge congratulations to Dr. Ogun. On behalf of the Yab but extra in diaspora, it was a real privilege to host you at our last Zoom meeting, despite a very short notice given. We wish you happy retirement. Uh, Professor Eileen Oshinawa sent a message and said, keep up the great relationship and performance current SEMA. Your contribution to Nigeria's Psychological Association of Clinical Psychology Depart Development is very appreciated. We students of Colombo, UTC, thank God for your life and contribution to our substance use disorder knowledge, skills that have been imparted to your effective um, leadership. On behalf of our family, she had sent that to you. All right, so we're quickly going to hear with some, from somebody who had worked so, so well uh, with her over the years. Uh, I, I mean, the person of Dr. Olubenga Owe is going to talk, talk to us briefly. Who is this woman? Yes psychiatrists and every other thing. In few minutes, Dr. Way, can we just unmute him, please, and let's hear from him.
All right, so we, we, we're sorry about that. We would work on that. Um, let's, let's just get that um, system rearranged and then Dr. Weyer would come back on, online to talk to us about that. Uh, like I said earlier, the APN president is here, Professor Taiwo. Um, sorry, the next few check. Sorry, I, I, if I don't pronounce that, that's because the, the eye writing here isn't so clear. But um, Professor Taiwo, the APN president, uh, we appreciate you for being part. Shake, okay. Thank you so much for being part of this um, webinar today to celebrate one of our own. Um, this is not the final celebration. I hope we know that. Um, this is just to celebrate half on the Yaba Voice platform. So what is Yaba Voice about? Yaba Voice, it's um, an offshoot of the oh. pandemic. It came when um, we were having issues about um, going on with other things and you no, know, they had to come up with these ideas, a voice to a whole lot of people, greater outreach and other things, outreach um, to better people. Um, Professor Taiwo, are you there? Unmute yourself, please, so that we can hear you. Professor Taiwo? Shake. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, me, I'm at the I'm at the airport. <laughs> I'm about uh, boarding a flight at Abuja. Um, can you can you hear me? Please, can you can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, we can, we hear, can you. hear you. Well, uh, my my uh, our mother, our support. When you talk about uh, APN Association of Psychiatrists in Nigeria, uh, in fact, I don't know what I'm going to, what we are going to do when you leave. But uh, I believe that um, your legacies will remain. You have done so much for psychiatry in this country, especially in terms of governance, good governance, exemplified good governance. You have also done so much for child and adolescent psychiatry in this country. In fact, before we started hearing anybody's name in child and adolescent psychiatry, your name has been a household name. You've done so much in bringing up so many things that ordinarily we don't notice, especially in terms of substance abuse in Nigeria. You are an embodiment of a leader, a good governor in terms of mental health in Nigeria, a mother to all psychiatrists that are upcoming residents and even those who are doing just part-time programs. You have taught us how to be very humble and modest in running our affairs. We're surely going to miss you, but we know that you are still with us. Uh, we are still with us, not only in terms of uh, psychiatric practice, but in terms of who to run to when we need advice. You are also with us in the West African College of Physicians. You have retired, but you are not tired. Uh, we wish you a very happy retirement life. We will always call on you when we need you. And I, like I said, you have not left us. We are very happy. You are hale and hearty. We are very happy. You are living with a very good strength. You are not fatigued. We are very happy for all the things that you have laid down. Uh, we will struggle to emulate you. You have raised the bar of success for mental health in Nigeria. We'll keep struggling to meet up with that bar of success. We wish you a very happy retirement life. Thank you very much, man. If you allow me to keep talking, I will not stop talking. There is so much to say about you. We are very thank proud you of so you. much. Sir. Thank you. We are, thank you, we, we are we are grateful that you could also join us um, on on this platform today. I know so many people want to talk. Um, yes, we have been having requests to talk, but we just have limited time, and that's why we encourage people to just send their well wishes onto the platform. Yes, we will try and reach as many as we can. Um, so, Doctor Ayotunde Omotosho, thank you so much too for those wonderful words that you have sent to to us. Yes, Aulishola, Oluwa, Nuga, 
Yes, it's me. You have been a styling person since we met in the College of Medicine, um, University of Lagos. Thank you so, so much. Uh, we're going to harvest all of these um, comments and um, she's going to get back to every one of us. Thank you for the positive words. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, but then to in, in two minutes or a few minutes, let's, let's have your words. Are you back online, sir? We still can we still can hear you. Doctor, Doctor Oweya seems to be having some bit of challenges with his um, with his line. Uh, we will still make sure that he comes on before we read wrap of this uh, this webinar. Sorry, this is the new normal for us. Oluwa Femi Oluwa Tayo says, "Big congratulations, Doctor OC, for your successful tenure as MD, Yaba." I'm so pleased to be here, although I have to say you don't look like anyone retiring at all. I quite agree with you. You look as young and fresh, passionate as ever. Thank you for an enduring and productive relationship dating back to us many years ago during our time as resident doctors together. The good old days of Yaba, I dare say. Happy retirement. I limit to everyone your contribution to the department and organization at large will never be forgotten. Happy retirement. Mojupe M, you are an amazing person. Congratulations, Ma. Keep swearing. Um, yes, thank you so much. Tayo Isebmoa says, congratulations, my dear Yemi. I'm so proud of you for what you have been able to achieve at Yaba. It is start today, but you ended it as a CMD with the difference. Mock success to your endeavor. As you are retiring, that's from Ben Ogun. You are not tired. Almighty God will continue to sustain you and your family. This is just the beginning of success and other rounds of upliftment. Thanks for the love towards us, my happy retirement. Thank you so much for the well wishes. Why they are trying to still set up um, Dr. Um, Oweye. Okay, Dr. JJ sent her message of uh, congratulations. Thank you so much, Dr. Femi Adeoye. Um, your message is also well appreciated. Thank you. Or Lion Ka Ofesua. Thank you so much. We appreciate that message. Uh, that goodwill message that is coming to, is Dr. Oweye ready? Okay, before, okay, Dr. Oweye, over to you, sir. Very much, Sammy. All right, we still have some challenges, Dr. Bilo Majid. Yes, congratulations, my mommy, teacher, mentor. Thank you. She's all that's rolled, rolled into one. You are indeed a living legacy of everything best. It's still difficult for me to accept that retirement is here. All right, Dr. Weya is here. All right, Dr. Weya. Okay. So thank you very much, uh, Kemi, for giving me this opportunity to talk about uh, Dr. O.C. Ogun, my teacher, my mentor, and my coach. Uh, about 24 years ago, uh, that was in year 20, 1997, when I started my residency, I met Dr. Cecilia Oluwayemi Ogun. By that time, she just became a new consultant. So she taught me a lot of things. Uh, we learned under her with ease, without any fear. I know that alone, she's always ready to help. By the time I finished my residency in 2003, he was already a consultant in the hospital. And by that time, whenever you are employed as a young consultant, you are attached to another consultant to mentor you. That time, I had to work under her for a period of about two years. And during that period, I learned a lot uh, in terms of hard work, being 
sincere and loving. All these attributes were demonstrated during my stay with her. But the important aspect of it was when the going was somehow thought uh, as a consultant. And uh, Dr. Ogun said, because at a point, that was when I now know the quality inside her. I said, Dr. Ogun, I think I had to leave. I've never seen this kind of a thing. The doctor would say, you are not going anywhere. We are in need together. We will struggle, we will fight, and we will succeed. And true to our word, she fought, she struggled, and she conquered. So I really appreciate you for this. And not that alone, Dr. Gwyn is also ready to really help and support. He allowed most of us to ride on our back to move up. So Dr. Ogun, we cannot thank you enough. Uh, Dr. Ogun is a mother, he's a lover of God, he's a very humble person, and he's also loving. We cannot uh, appreciate you enough for what you have done for us in Yaba. You left a lot of legacy for us, the legacy of peace. Is the most important of it. The hospital is peaceful and everybody is happy. So we really thank you for this. And not that alone, for your achievement in this hospital. The first time that the medical director will uh, commission four projects in a single day within a short time. We really thank you for all that you have done. And we pray that Almighty God will continue to strengthen you wherever you are in Jesus' name. So without taking much of our time, I want to thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, four projects in a day, that's, that's, that's the fix that quite a lot of people um, mm. cannot achieve. She said it's still a man's word, but then a man's word that she's not afraid to enter. She dared the lion and she was able to do so much more. Thank you so much. Um, Dapo Dabiri is here on the line and uh, that's the person, Mrs. Dapo Dabiri. All right. so. Dolapo, I'm sorry. Dolapo, yes. Dabiri. All right, ma'am. Very yeah. sorry. Yes, ma'am. Over to yeah. you, ma'am. Ah, Dr. Ogun. She's my sister from another mother. Our paths crossed when we were living together in 1004. On that long corridor, I just gravitated towards her because of her humility. And she's not afraid to tell you that she doesn't know something. I remembered the day I made salad. She said, Mommy Bumi you will teach me how to make salad. I don't know how to do it too. You know, I'm Arubo Nimio, but I just love her. She's a man who, she's a woman who loves God. And she's very kind. And in fact, she turned her resident into a boarding school for most of our children that were going to the university. When one set is passing out of her house, another set is going. She, uh, in fact, I think Yaba Neuropsychiatric Hospital would have missed it if she had not been appointed as medical director because she's a woman who likes to do her job well. And she does it with humility and, of course, with accountability. We love you. Thank you for the time that Bumi lived with you. You are her second mom, and that is accepted in her family. And wherever your foot will step after this retirement, it shall be favors and favors and favors. The storm is over. You have worked very hard. You deserve your rest. And your rest, you will not rest because Nigeria is not stressful. I'm sure you will still be useful in other endeavors in Nigeria. God bless you. And thank you for the loving husband that you had. Because if your husband did not believe in what you were doing, you wouldn't have even been able to congregate those young people in your house. You gave them the wings to fly. Thank you. We appreciate you. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma, for um, those kind words that you have passed across to the medical director today. As we're wrapping up, we'll just begin to take just one question, and that is for the medical director, and that is, what is the plan for yourself, for the hospital, for the country, 
what's 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 next? I am I'm eager to hear that because child that don't say psychiatry. Huh, I think it's okay. Let me not just preempt you. What's next, ma'am? Thank you once again, Mr. Lakemi Hakitoshi. Well, I will say. I say, if I say wherever the tide drives me, I will go. But you can sometimes we will be able to control that tide. Now, no, so. So, um, what I'm still very, very passionate about the children of Nigeria, the adolescents. I hope, yes, I will have started a clinic, but not that. I'm very much interested in school mental health because I believe that we should start with these children very early. We should go there, especially with issues of drug abuse and so many uh, problems happening now. We should try to inculcate in these children um, good things for them to live for. I'm also passionate about women's health. I hope because out there, my experience as a child psychiatrist taught me that women have loads and loads of problems. So I tend venturing into women's mental health as well. However, well, I've spent uh, over 30 years of my life here, it's never over by the grace of God. We say it's a Yaba family. I will be ready to support anything that Yaba feels that uh, we can do. Uh, we, do we didn't leave our former medical directors who called upon them. And in the issue of research, yes, uh, my mentor, the late Dr. Malamon will say that, don't think that everything ends with your back. That's when you are in private parties, outside there is a lot of things that people can touch. So I will definitely add research into whatever ventures I want to do. So thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Uh All right, um, thank you so much, um, the medical director. She said she's not leaving yet. So whatever capabilities, capacity, uh, whatever it is that is demanded from her, she will be here too. Uh, all right, so I have to just call one more person before we wrap up. Uh, Mr. Fernandez is here. It's been, it's been, it's been a whole time. Um, so I would just love to hear from you in one minute love to hear from the bigger party will still come everybody will have opportunity but this is just yabo voice there. all right so mr fernandez over to you sir thank you very much for giving me the pleasure to say a few words i just uh, bumped into this program i was in the tennis spot when i played with my telephone i found out that this was going on i'm sorry i joined in late but i want to say that i've been so lucky in my life, to see, two, to see two female medical directors in Yaba. One was Dr. Beta Johnson, and here we have uh, Dr. Ogu, who is about to leave. I cannot believe that Dr. Ogu is uh, retiring. I don't know what we retirees will be talking about people like her. But um, having said that, I want to observe that there should be something very peculiar about the female gender as leaders. I see a little bit of Dr. Johnson and Dr. Ogu. Within that tough face, there, there are two people in leadership as females. You see the medical director and see the person herself. I see the female as a role player because unfortunately in our culture, we don't seem to have too much respect for the female danger. So you find out that when a female becomes a leader, she sort of acts a role which is not hers. The Felicia Ogun you see, 
And the medical director, you see, are different, two different sets of people. I think now that Felicia will go, if you allow me to call you Felicia, I think I have the right to call you Felicia. I think the Felicia who you see is going to be a different Felicia when she leaves office. Because the Felicia who I know is not that tough looking, tough hard person you think as a medical director. She was all only playing that role. Within that tough face you saw, there's a very soft-hearted, peaceful human being. And that is Dr. Wu for you. I want to appreciate you. You have, you have surprised me beyond expectations. I have seen what you've done in Yaba. I pray that you retire in peace. And you have said it all, that Yaba is one family. We shall continue to live as a family. We had a turbulent 12 years period we have been watching. But I want to believe that that has come to an end. And may Yaba continue to live in peace. Happy retirement, Dr. Gu. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We didn't have the opportunity of meeting you, but we heard so much about you. And I am, and I am not, uh, it was the former DA of um, director of admin of this hospital. And as a matter of fact, I heard that he was the one that um, employed you into service. So thank you so much. Sir. We had so much good things about you. Thank you so much sir, for keeping the banner high so that people like us can have the opportunity of working here. Um, Grace Jarabwe, thank you. We saw, we see uh, Dr. Grace Jarabwe. Yes, your message here is acknowledged. Um, Adeola Adebayo, your message is acknowledged. Oni Yola BC, we acknowledge you. Rina Oluwagbenga, your message is acknowledged. We appreciate everyone for this goodwill message. Saka Mao. Um, from the Oshonuga to everyone, yes, we cannot take comments anymore because we just have to wrap up on that, the side note. But we want to, on behalf of Yabo Voices, thank you so much for doc to Dr. Oluwaye, Mrs. Cecilia Ogo, who had been tenacious. No, Yabo Voice came in less than a year. It's still not one year. We're going to have her back on the day we clock one to be part of our webinar that particular day. But, you know, she, she, she didn't know to push. We saw the vision and we were able to run with it. You know, she was able to, you know, if you can be in our platform where we're discussing, she comes down to everybody's level and she would ask questions. What is this? What is it? I don't know this. About two or three weeks ago, she was in, in my department. Let me, I did take her to my office because my office was not good enough to accommodate her. But she came to do something and she was like, let me sit with you and then you put me, you know, Ah, a hey, medical director, hey, God, my life. Hmm? No, I'm not a science star, hey. Well, no, that's just our level of humanity. We were there, we worked on it together. And, you know, it, it passed so much to me. Whatever height, whatever grace, whatever opportunity the life has given unto us, um, whatever, it, it's the most important thing is to better the life of everyone. Um, Dr. Weyer, please, in one word, just give a vote of thanks to everyone that has been here today. And then we'll just come back to Mama, who is going to also say thank you. And then we'll just wrap it up. Please don't move Dr. Way. Okay. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to give the vote of thanks. Uh, for all the people that are present on this platform. I want to sincerely appreciate uh, the family of Dr. Ogun who are here, the chiefs, uh, the in-laws, the children, the husband and the grandchildren. We really appreciate you for making it to be with us on this platform. I also want to thank the president of Association of Psychiatrists in Nigeria, Professor Sheikh, for honoring our invitation to be on this platform today. And uh, I also want to thank uh, our own teacher, our own father uh, in psychiatry, Professor Oye Gureji, for being on this, uh, on this platform to honor us. We just pray that the Almighty God will continue to bless you. I know that alone, Professor Badru, and also the past 
leaders or officers from Yaba, uh, people like our own daddy, uh, Mr. Sigismund Fernandez, uh, Laji Oyetola, past GA. Uh, we really appreciate you and we thank you for coming. In addition, I also want to thank all the Yaba staff in diaspora, most especially the nurses. Uh, we really appreciate you for being there uh, and for supporting the hospital all this while. I also want to thank all the alumni of Federal and Psychiatric Hospital, I mean the doctors, those in Nigeria, those in Australia, I can see Dr. JJ there, Dr. Motosho, a lot of them, those in United Kingdom, Dr. Adeoye and Co. We just want to say thank you for uh, being on this platform and for creating time to be there. The old student association of our own medical director from Methodist High School, from the College of Mercy University of Lagos, we just want to say thank you to all of you for being on this platform. And finally, without taking much of our time, I want to thank all the staff of Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital Yaba, the chairman of the MD CAN, all the consultants here present, the chairman of various unions, the Joesu, the Mahon, the nurses. We really appreciate you for being on this platform. And we pray that things of joy will continue to exist in our midst. And I thank you all. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Dr. Woye. Um, Dr. Woye is the head of clinicals. Thank you so much for being wonderful to us and Yabo Voice too. He's also part of the team and has encouraged us in more ways than one to push through. Thank you so much, sir. All right, so we have the last comment from um, Dr. Ogun, Dr. Olua, yeah, Ms. Cecilia Ogun. Let's hear from you, ma'am. Oh, thank you very much, everybody. I cannot thank you all enough. Um, Dr. Wei has given the vote of thanks, but um, I still want to thank uh, people like uh, uh, Daddy, Mr. Sigmund Fernandez, the DA that employed me when I, I joined this hospital. I can see my friend, Dr. Ruti Mikuka, Dr. Lua Tayo, who is in the UK and said he was going to join. I, I've not been able to see everybody. I'd like to thank all my family members that are on this platform, the Omonies, the Oguns, and my in-laws that are all here. Thank you so much. I do not take your love for granted. I thank each and every one of you. And I'd like to thank members of staff of Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital Yaba. Most especially the consultants, Everybody, the consultants, all the members that are here. Then I like to really thank my team, the Yama Boys. Thank you so much for honoring me with this. It's a surprise. I thank you so much. With the coronavirus, I never thought I would, I would get this uh, inspirational um, sent forth. But I thank God that he has made this day to come. I thank you so much. And the Yaba team, starting from Dr. Oweye, thank you so much. We thank uh, Dr. Ajiro Tutu, Sayo Ajiro Tutu. We thank uh, Ms. Olukwakami Akito Yeshe. We thank um, um, Ladeji Kayode, our host. We thank uh, Wale, Jumoke, Toby, and uh, Mr. Alabi, Asienu. Thank you so much. And I see Dr. Velo Moji just coming in. Thank you all so much. I thank you and may God, the face of joy will never finish in everybody's home and in everybody's life. Thank you. I love you. My, 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 I sit out here and say, my, sorry, yo. my, 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 my method is the assignments. I thank every one of you. I'm so, so proud of you. Thank you all so much. Here today, thank you so much. Sister Ademidun, thank you so much. I see, I see all of you. I can thank you so much. God bless all of you. 
All right, so on this final note, we want to say thank you to everyone for being part of this webinar today. We so much appreciate you for coming. Um, this is the Yabu Voice. Um, when the medical director leaves our office, the Yabu Voice is still going to go on strong and better. I can assure you that because we will do everything humanly possible to make her proud and to always look back and say, yes, the team, that's what she calls us. And I love it, the team. You know? She comes and says, the team. And everybody jazz up and like, we're ready to go. All right, so we will do everything humanly possible to make sure that we do our best and to keep this flag flying so, so hard. Um, by God's grace, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be having another webinar and it's going to be targeted towards men's mental health. Do men cry? Do they go through emotional traumas? Do they go through difficult times? Do they face challenges? How do they resolve it? How do they deal with it? What are the adaptive ways that men can do with their problem? That's what we'll be dealing with in our next webinar and then we hope to see you there at that mess with them. Please remember that you need to keep safe, take care of your mental health, and ensure that you do everything humanly possible to enjoy the best of your life. Until we come your way again, stay blessed and God bless you. Thank you.